Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at some of the cut and unused content in Civilization 5. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Starting off with the technologies, there are some clips in the game files for discovering three unused texts. These are being Calculus, Patronage and Publishing, along with their respective codes. While Patronage is in the game files as a social policy, it appears that it may have been originally planned to be a researchable technology. Take a look at these sound clips. You have discovered Calculus. In the fall of 1972, President Nixon announced that the rate of increase of inflation was decreasing. This was the first time that a sitting president used the third derivative to advance his case for re-election. You have discovered patronage. Everything passes. Robust art alone is eternal. The bust survives the city. You have discovered publishing. There are three difficulties in authorship to write anything worth publishing, to find honest men to publish it, and to find sensible men to read it. Also in the game files, there's an unused sound clip for the agriculture tech, though it is never heard of in-game, as every civilization starts with it already researched. Where tillage begins, other arts follow. The farmers, therefore, are the founders of human civilization. There is another unused sound file for ballistics, which was later added as a tech in the Gods and Kings DLC although with a different code than what was originally planned. Once the rockets are up, who cares where they come down? Men like bullets go farthest when they are smoothest. And lastly, examining the texture files, there are two tech icons that are unused in the game. One displaying a letter and one showing a person writing what appears to be a book. While there is nothing in the game files or anywhere for that matter to indicate that these two were icons for either calculus, patronage or publishing, we can only guess that they were probably going to be used for them with the letter icon most likely representing patronage and the writing icon representing publishing. Next we take a look at buildings. In the building texture files there are two alternative icons for the factory and the market that were never used. There is also an unused icon that appears to be a supermarket and one that appears to be a custom house of sorts which judging by the cupola it looks to be modeled after the custom house in Dublin. In the unit texture files, there are only two icons that point to unused units, with the first one being a placeholder icon for a unit called the Galleon. The Galleon was a medieval era warship, so it appears that it may have been either a medieval era sea unit before the frigate was chosen, or a unique unit for one of the civilizations. The second unit is also a ship, and it resembles the Karak from Civilization 4 and the Now from Civilization 5's Brave New World DLC. It can be speculated that this unused unit, along with the unused custom house icon, may have been the unique features of a potential Portuguese civilization in the base game that was cut before the introduction of the Portuguese in the Brave New World DLC. Searching the game files, we find quite a few pointers to wonder content that was cut. Starting with the base game, there is a placeholder image for the Large Hadron Collider, along with a music file that was later added in the Brave New World DLC. The Panama Canal was slated to make its debut in Civilization games, however it was cut from Civ 5 and later introduced in Civ 6. The only remnant of this wonder is an icon and a painting. And the Three Gorges Dam was also set to return from Civ 4 but was cut from the game with only a painting and an icon remaining in the game files. With the Brave New World DLC, the Motherland Course was also set to appear as the Order Ideology's unique wonder. It had a painting, music and quote and was defined in the building XML files. However, in an interview on the Polycast podcast, the developers stated that due to copyright reasons, they were unable to use it, and instead the Kremlin was chosen to replace it. One of the hallmarks of a great nation is its ability to rise to its feet after a fall. The game files also point to two natural wonders that were due to appear in-game, 
The first one being Lake Titicaca, which has an unusable model and XML file, along with an icon texture. The second is Mount Everest, which also has an unusable model and XML file, although no icon present. There is however a pre-release screenshot that exists on the Safe Fanatics forum showing Mount Everest in-game, and based on its yield it was most likely replaced with Grand Mesa for unknown reasons. There is also a generic wounded discovery notification icon in the texture files which shows a picture of the delicate arch from Utah. It appears that before having the notification of discovering the natural wonder be a smaller icon of the wonder itself, this generic notification icon was going to be used before being cut. And lastly there is an unused sound file for the Uffizi wonder from Brave New World in which the speech starts slightly later on in the track. The painter is not simply someone who looks and who sees. The painter is not simply someone who looks. The game files contain an unused shorter voice clip of Caesar's peaceful line. Militas tu i bene pugnaverunt. Te gratulor propter victoriam tuam. Te gratulor propter victoriam tuam. And an unused Washington line. I trust that you have learned that the United States are not to be trifled with along with an unused shorter introduction to Brazil from Brave New World. All hail as most respected and magnanimous Emperor Pedro II of Brazil. Revered Emperor Pedro, your people long for a return to the peaceful days when you walked among them, hearing their stories and reassuring them of a bright future. Will you once again lead your kingdom to prosperity? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time. All hail his most respected and magnanimous emperor, Pedro II of Brazil. It was with great insight and unshakable dignity that you ruled the Brazilian Empire for over fifty years, ushering in a time of lasting peace and prosperity. Your reputation as a stern but fair leader was never blemished by controversy as your unwavering dedication to the people of Brazil provided hope and established the kingdom's position in South America. Your scholarly pursuits and staunch defense of freedom of speech led to the creation of several institutions of higher learning, strengthening Brazil's sense of national identity. Revered Emperor Pedro, your people long for a return to the peaceful days when you walked among them hearing their stories and reassuring them of a bright future. Will you once again lead your kingdom to prosperity? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? And also there is placeholder concept art for both Spain and the Inca, which are nearly identical to their in-game appearance. There are nine great works of writing that have one or two unused alternative sound clips in which the narrator speaks in different tones and inflections. But I reckon I got a light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's going to adopt and civilize me, and I can't stand it. I've been there before. But I reckon I got to light out for the territory ahead of the rest, because Aunt Sally, she's going to adopt and civilize me, and I can't stand it. I've been there before. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad, said Alice. Well, you must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. Well, how do you know I'm mad, said Alice. Well, you must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. Yet do not miss the moral, my good men, for St. Paul says all that's written well is written down some useful truth to tell. Then take the wheat and let the chaff lie still. Yet do not miss the moral, my good men, for St. Paul says all that's written well is written down some useful truth to tell. 
Then take the wheat and let the chaff lie still. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men must, I think, have great sadness on earth. Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. The really great men, I think, have great sadness on earth. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves, and immortality. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. I'm telling you honestly, I don't know if our society would be Bolshevik or fascist. Sometimes I think the best thing would be to concoct such an unholy mixture that not even God could untangle it. You man are fool enough, it seems, to dare to war with women, when for your faithful ally you might win us easily. You man are fool enough, it seems, to dare to war with women, when for your faithful ally you might win us easily. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind, and has given up worrying once and for all. Be patient and tough. One day this pain will be useful to you. Happy is the man who has broken the chains which hurt the mind, and has given up worrying once and for all. Be patient and tough. One day this pain will be useful to you. He vaguely desired to walk around and around the body and stare, the impulse of the living to try to read in dead eyes the answer to the question. He vaguely desired to walk around and around the body and stare. The impulse of the living to try to read in dead eyes the answer to the question. And lastly, the social policies were originally going to be displayed in a grid style according to this image dug up from the files. It appears that there were five icons completed before being abandoned in favor of the current social policy menu. That's it for the video. If there's any cut or unused content that I missed, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video and learned something new, please leave a like.